Hello, people. It's Poet. And welcome back to the Pokemon world. I don't know why it's taken me so long to uh, record an episode, but basically I've been super busy with actual real-life stuff uh, over the past few days. I had to go back into work and uh, train the new guy and, and that kind of stuff, so I couldn't record Pokemon. I, ha I basically had to choose a series. Um, I had already pre-recorded a lot of Red Cubed. I had pre-recorded a lot of uh, building games and waking up and mini games things, things like that so um, I, I basically had to choose one to get rid of and unfortunately it was Pixelmon and I'm sorry but but this amazing discovery um, is this stone here now you know what I can do with this stone here if I had an Eevee and unfortunately I don't think that I do have an Eevee I drop down this. What? Can't put it on the snow. If I drop down this and I look here, I don't have an EV. Oh! I do! Do I have another one? By chance? Wow, okay, so I have the one EV. That's a that's a good thing. Um okay. So there's a couple things that I can do. As you guys know, I do need the Espeon, I do need the Flareon, uh, but I also want a Glaceon, and I'd love to get one right now uh, while we are out here. So I think what you do is like that. Eevee! Ooh, you are pretty wounded, you little Eevee. Uh, rare can- ooh, that's Waterstone. Where's my rare candies? Don't tell me. Don't. Tell me, all the rare candies are back at home? Oh, how far away am I? I'm at uh, X1024, and Z is 2811, and I think if this is like this, that going back home would be in, in sort of a that way direction. So, I guess what we gotta do is fly all the way back home, and that's about all that we can do, unfortunately. But, you guys, it's crazy. I found this, this, uh, basically open area, giant tundra area, or what, what is it called exactly? It's called pla Ice Plains. Um, and it's basically, hold on, is that video settings? Far, okay. There's another one. There's another stone right there. Okay, for example, uh, just in basic flying over, stones are everywhere. There's another one right under me there. There's no Look at three right on the screen. Three. So, I don't know. I've flown over so many of, of these taiga biomes. The taiga biome with the spruce trees and I have never seen one in there and yet people tell me that other people online on YouTube and stuff have found them in there I don't know I would almost I don't want to be the one to call shenanigans you know and say anything was spawned in or anything like that but I just find it hard to believe I've flown f just for hours at times through these kinds of biomes like every single biome like, like this I combed it. I combed it and combed it and combed it and I looked through every single part of it. Could not find one. You get to the ice plains and it's just like instantly stones everywhere. So I don't know. I it, I I have a feeling that they only appear in ice plains. So it could be that maybe the taiga biome was like right on the edge of a, an ice plain or something and it just looked like they were still there, but I don't know. I just, I, I find it hard to believe. That's all. Spiro. I haven't seen a lot of Spiros around. Okay, this is one of the bigger Pokemon centers. Um, pressure plate. I could actually, if I had some redstone, I do. I might try something with the redstone to 
basically push that that machine off. I don't know if it'll work. I don't know if it'll work for healing machines as well. Hmm. Worth a try. So let's do that. Let's put this there. And let's see what we got here. Make some sticks. Sticks make some of those. And I need to get rid of something that... Man, that manky voice. I hate it. Oops. How do we do this? We need a block. We need a block. Um. Oh. Like this? No. How does redstone work? I've forgotten all I know. I know what I could do. Just put it underneath it. Come on. Oh. Hmm. Eh? What? Huh? Suddenly I was looking upwards. It's like everything just froze. My keyboard froze. Oh, it can't push against this. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. Let's try... I'm just going to break one of these. Okay. Actually, I should have broken this one. Let's try that again. Let's try this again. Nope, still doesn't push it. And I'm pretty sure that would that would make it extend. Because if this wasn't here, put that down there. Yeah. So you can't even push these things. I bet this one's going to be the same. I just wanted to see if you could push it by chance. With a pressure plate, it doesn't look like you can. It's just the way that things are. If I go like F3B... I can kind of see maybe... No. I can't even see the hitbox of this device. Alright. So I think it would be like right... The middle block. These two blocks. It's two blocks big. So I'd have to do something crazy like... Give me those. What are those? Quartz? Those quartz? Block of quartz. I never really realized before. This whole thing is quartz. I could be building things out of quartz all this time. Okay. So you put the thing like that. Oops. Not like that. Like that. And... Try to light it up. Nope. Can't do it. So there's no real way of pushing those things off, unfortunately. Um, kind of too bad, but... It is what it is. On flesh. Okay, so I'm just going to loot this Pokemon Center and then we'll head back again. Alright. Okay, so. Need an empty slot. What's happening? Oh no. Ah. Bucket of water is getting in my way. Fly. Oh, God. No. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Shift. That's terrible. Okay, let's get outside before I ride the Pokemon. Usually a good idea. Go away, Arbok. I'm looking at you. I know you're going to try to attack me. Okay. No. No. Alright. What's that over there? Need around female. Just looking around me. Little Mareep. Okay. Alright, let's go back. Fly away with me. Now, I don't know how many of you follow the development of Pixelmon. I've been waiting for an update for a while, and I know a lot of people have been as well. But man, the things that I'm seeing in their development team now is so cool. It's just... ah, They have new animations for flying and... See, it glitched again. Flying and sitting stasis of a Pokemon. So like the Charizard flapping its wings and then when you land on the ground it has a different stance than it would when it's flying. Uh, so that's kind of really cool. Uh, they've got a new boss type of Pokemon coming out, and they've changed how bosses work. 
They've changed the database system so that it, it works differently that way as well. Probably going to see some Thunderstone shards in a second here. I think this is where I found all those others. Possibly. There's one there, Pokemon Center. You see them from time to time. It would be nice to see like whole villages spawn in, but... Eh, take what you can get. Okay, so let's see, am I heading kind of in the right direction? Yeah. Yeah, totally, this is right there. There's a temple. Get some gold there, maybe diamonds even. Don't really care. <laughs> Okay, moving right along. Ooh, there's another, another temple. This one looks so cool. It's like completely buried. I like that. I like that a lot. Very cool. But this is Pixelmon, not so much Minecraft. So things like that, jungle temples, sand temples. I don't really much care. I mean, what the best you can find in there, I'm not that impressed with anyway. Why does it keep freezing up like that. I don't know. Maybe the new version of Pixelmon will fix that. Um, but yeah, new new different flying look, new boss type. The one thing that I didn't really like, the one thing I didn't really care for, uh, was the fact that now when you kill a boss type Pokemon, it automatically puts everything that the boss dropped into your inventory. So that's kind of... For me, I don't know if I like that necessarily. What the... We're like, we're flying too far now. Where am I supposed to go? This way? Yeah, this way. Oops, I'm in the water. Go, 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 go. This way. Float, flew too far, not flow too far. Flew too far. But it should be this way now. All the way this way. Um, another nice thing is that the flying speed of the Pokemon will be exactly related to the fl their, their actual speed that they have, their speed stat. So you could have two different berries, just like I will have, because I've got my shiny, uh, what is it, shiny Vibrava now. Um, this one right here. And eventually... It'll evolve into a shiny Flygon. It will have a different speed stat than the Flygon that I'm on right now. So, it'll fly at a different speed. It'll fly faster or slower, depending on on whichever you have for that Pokemon. So, very, very excited about that. Means that it'll make a little bit more difference to how the stats look on a Pokemon and, uh, you know, I've never been, even when I was a kid and I knew everything about Pokemon, um, I was never into the stats. I never really looked at them. You know, I took for granted, you know, it is what it is. I have a Pokemon and that's all that really matters. Ooh, hello. Glitched. Everything's glitchy while Optifine acts up. But we are just here to grab one thing and then I'm running back. Block of quartz I can leave. I'm going to actually leave a bunch of things. I don't see a whole lot of... Po what the... What the heck happened to my textures here? Huh? What the heck? Is that also related to Optifine? I bet it is. That is a really big glitch, and I hope in the next version... They fix all the Optifine bugs. Um, like if I see, like look at my my Eevee, looks fine. Vibrava, that's not right. This, not right. That is on fire. What? Huh? What? No. What the heck? That's not right. Quick, into the water, into the water. Numo looks not right either. Whoa, look at its face. Weird, weird, weird. But anyway. 
My little shield on was on fire. I don't know why, but uh, I might have to cut it here and, and re-log um, simply to fix this error. But, oh, see now, now look at them. You can kind of see, anyway, <laughs> weirdness in here. Now I'm here to grab these and these alone. And then we will fly back out, but I'm going to just maybe, well, let's fly back out. I don't really rem remember the coordinates, but I know that it was kind of in that direction, so that's the direction that I'll go in. So click on here, F5 mode, and away we go. See what other cool things we can find while we're flying. We've been this way a lot, but if we see like a boss by chance, we will fight it. If we see, I don't know, some other rare Pokemon by chance that isn't glitched out, we will fight it. What is that? What are you? Oh, Magmar. Man, you see, everything's so glitched that I can... Oh, there's a... Hmm. Hello. Hello, hello. People have been wanting me to catch a... Uh, A Snorlax for a long time and he's actually uh, he looks fine he's not glitched out so let's see here 38 he's level 42 38 might be enough I'm thinking so fight rock slide maybe it does okay Rock slide. Hey, eh. Let's try dragon breath. But Bravo is still sleeping. Come on. Eh. It it healed. No. Okay. This is not good. This is not doing good. My Bravo. Oh, that looked dark energy. Seemed to damage it quite a bit more than the just plain old rock type move. Okay, this is a weird glitched Vibrava if I've ever seen one. Vibrava's still sleeping. Snorlax is sleeping. We're all just sleeping. We're having a nap. Okay. Crunch. Yes. Crunch. Man! Stop it! I need to like swap out into Barry and then like just slaughter it or something. Just try its rock slide. Bam! There we go. That's better. Bag, Pokeball, Dusk Ball. I mean, hey. Dusk Ball, sleeping Pokemon. It's night time. Let's see. Maybe. It's in the yellow, but maybe. Just maybe. Snorlax, will you be mine? Nope. <laughs> okay, I'm swapping out actually back for Vibrava. Vibrava. And let's use... What? Snorlax is full health? Man! That move. Okay, fight. Hyper Beam. Come on, wake up. Wake up and Hyper Beam his face. Might kill him, but... You know what? Just do it. Just do it. Come on. Barry woke up. Barry's recharged. You didn't you didn't use hyper beam. I saw ah he just recharged before I could even hit him. Hyper beam. Come on, wake up. Come on. I know it's nighttime, but Dragon Claw maybe. Ah. Oh. It's just doing nothing to him. Maybe it's even a glitch at this point. I don't know, because I'm using Hyper Beam. His defense is going up, but, I mean... What is going on here? Okay, so I killed him somehow. I don't know what was going on there, but... Something not right. Apple. Huh. 
<gasps> I could have used that for a golden apple. Oh, man. <laughs> wow. Anyway, going back, there's a Firo flapping its wings. The new Pidgey animation looks very cool. The new Charizard animation looks really cool as well. I'm I'm excited about all of that kind of stuff. If I'm to be perfectly honest, it's really cool. Okay, I think 1000 was about it. Now I can go this way to like 2000 and I'll be in the ice fields, the ice meadows. Okay. Bound to see a lot of Thunderstone shards. There's one right there, Thunderstone shard. I see it. I see it, but I don't need it right now. I do not need it right now. As long as I kind of, sort of, in the back of my mind, remember where it is. Come on, Barry. Stop glitching out like you are. Weird glitching. Spazzing. What the heck are those? Hmm. Sand dial's probably really glitched. Okay, it was like at 2,000 or something. I'm not there yet. Getting there. Can't wait. Oh, I hope it doesn't glitch out. I just realized that, that it might actually glitch out and not show me how the Pokemon's really supposed to look. That would be not very good at all. But I guess I'll find out. Because it's not, all of a sudden it's not choppy out here, maybe. Oh, yeah, no, it still is. A little bit. Lapras, where am I? Should be anywhere around here now. Hmm. Come on. Should have wrote down. Oh, it was 1024, negative 1024. So, 10 is this way. Okay. It's hard to pin down places in this world. It's so huge. 1024. Oop, we passed it. Eh, go back this way. 1024. Like that. And then maybe let's go this way again. Ah! Aha! Yes! Perfect. All right. All right, perfect. Uh, this view. Eevee. Eevee. You little Eevee, you evolve. Yes, Glaceon. Glaceon. Awesome. Wah! Well, that's not right. Okay, so I'm going to relog. We'll be right back. <laughs> we need to fix Glaceon. this. Okay, we are back. And, oops, that's shield on. There's Glaceon. Look at it. It's amazing. It is amazing. It is cool. Glaceon. I love it. I love the way that it looks. I love everything about it. Just awesome. Oh, that is such a good shot, too. Just really cool Pokemon. Uh, I'm happy to have it. Another evolution. Eevolution. <laughs> I love it. Glaceon. Yes. So, now that we have a Glaceon, there's only two others that we need is uh, to level up a a uh, Eevee's happiness and then evolve it and get an, an Espeon. And then the other one is to get another Firestone Shard or, or few Firestone Shards and then and then get a Flareon. Um, no other evolutions are in the game yet, but there are a ton of new Pokemon being added to the new uh, the new version, so maybe, just maybe, you never know. I can't wait to see what they've got. I think I'm going to end the episode here, though. Basically where we started, at the rock, uh, because I, I basically all I wanted was to get this Glaceon. Now that I've got it, I'm just, I'm just so happy about it. It's so cool. I am so, 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 so happy to have that. So, with that said, thank you guys for watching. Hit the like button. It does help me uh, know that you guys do like this content and, and want me to make more episodes more regularly, that kind of thing. Um, because right now, unfortunately, Pixelmon is, is one of the, the 
more lacking series that I have. Um, but I know that you guys love it. I love it too because of exciting things like this. So I'm not going to stop making it. Uh, but definitely hit the like button. It does help. Subscribe if you haven't already to stay tuned for more new episodes when they come out. And do all those other awesome things that you people do. We'll be seeing you on Pixelmon, on Pokemon, Minecraft, but Pokemon, whatever you want to call this. Next time. Bye bye.